expect him manifestation tonight. Demonstration tonight. Deliverance tonight. Power tonight. And the rolling away of your problem. Somebody there, praise the Lord. There's no name like the name of Jesus. There's no power like the power of Jesus. And there's no salvation in your other place. No deliverance in your other place. Everything is found in that name. And it's coming to you tonight. Are you there? Are you waiting? Are you expecting? It will come upon your life in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this glorious day. A day of manifestation. Manifestation of your power. In these days in which we live, like the olden time, we pray you open the windows of heaven. And you pour your blessings down upon your people. And we ask him tonight, you will turn every life around. Roll every mountain away. Destroy the works of the devil. Set your people free. Let it be manifestation tonight. Manifestation tonight. Manifestation everywhere. And your people will be glad in you. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus name we pray. God bless everyone. Please, you can sit down. We're coming to one verse of the Bible. It's a verse that came out of the mouth of Jesus Christ. Actually, he was born miraculously. He lived miraculously. Maybe you have heard the story before he died on the cross. He died for a purpose because of you so that life will come to you I'm talking about active life I'm talking about powerful life I'm talking about eternal life I'm talking about abundant life I'm talking about a kind of life heavenly life that comes to you tonight tonight manifestation in your life what's the person I'm talking to there it will come upon your life in Jesus name and as Jesus Christ came after he rose from the dead these words came out of his mouth and he comes to give you the word today he's the one who died he's the one who rose from the dead the one that has all power all authority angels bow before him and men worship him and when you give your life to that Lord and you recognize him and you believe him and you surrender to him there will be manifestation in your life there will be demonstration of his glory in your life Matthew chapter 28 and I'm reading from verse 18 Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth and Jesus came after his resurrection after the stone was rolled away the power of God came from heaven and then he rose again all those guards fell on the ground and then he rose triumphantly death is conquered the devil is conquered sin is conquered all your problems problems are conquered and now he came to his disciples and he came to announce to them and Jesus came 
unto them. And now Jesus comes unto you. Where you are there tonight. He comes before you. And he comes in your presence. He comes to announce unto you. And he spoke unto them. And now he's speaking to us. If you will recognize his voice. If you will accept his utterance. If you will believe his saying. The power in his word. The authority in his word. Will work in your life tonight. And it will be dynamic in your life tonight. He said unto them. Like he's saying unto you today. He said all power. All power. Is given unto me. In heaven and in earth. In heaven and in earth. As high as heaven is. His power is that high. As low as earth is. The power reaches everyone on earth. On the mountain in the valley. In the village in the city. In the church on the field. Anywhere and everywhere. The power of Christ we are talking about. Cannot be limited. Cannot be restricted. That's why it says all power. Think about that. All power. Meditate on that. All power. Apply that to your ailment. All power. Apply that to your situation. All power. That's the same power with God. The power that the Almighty God has, He has. All power in heaven and on earth. The same divine ability belonging to the Almighty God. The same divine ability belongs to Him. The power that can create. The power that can rescue your life. The power that can change your situation. The power that can roll your mountains away. All power. All power in heaven. Infinite power. Unlimited power. Irresistible power. That demon in your life will not resist that power tonight. That mountain in your life will not resist that power tonight. That sickness tonight will go after we mention the name of Jesus. Because he has might. He has power. He has authority. He has ability. He has all power in heaven, all power on earth. And his power is over angels, over men, over women, over your problems, over that affliction, over that attack, over every evil. He restrains every evil thing, he stops every evil thing. It destroys every work of the devil. And it cleanses our sins. It changes our lives. And it comes tonight because he's still alive. Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday. Today. And forever. And there he makes the announcement and the proclamation. And he tells you tonight. That you can rest assured. He will save your soul. He will heal your sicknesses. He will destroy the works of the devil in your life. He will set you free. Because the power to do that resides in him. All power in heaven and on earth. 
been given unto him. And therefore tonight, manifestation will come in your life. Tonight, I want to examine that verse of scripture with you. The conquering power of the risen Christ. The conquering power of the risen Christ. Look at that verse again. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, And that Jesus Christ, the same Jesus comes tonight. He has not changed his message. He has not changed his ministry. Manifestation always comes and follows after him. And when you believe that name, when you rest in that name, when you receive the blessing of that name, the might and the power, the manifestation is ministry, will come upon your life as he announces to you tonight all power without limitation, all power without restriction, all power without any hindrance, all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. That's why it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Three things I'm talking about before we pray. Number one, the majestic power of the risen Christ. I want you to come back to Matthew chapter 28. And once again, remember the words of Jesus. Once again, inject your mind with the words of Jesus. Inject your life with the words of Jesus. Because he comes and he says, All power, majestic power, the power of the king, royal power, divine power, heavenly power, all power is given unto me. And he says, In heaven, maybe your problem is coming from the sky. Maybe it's coming from your stars. Maybe it's coming from the clouds. Maybe it's coming from on high. There's a higher power that is greater than that power to maintain your life. The majestic power of Jesus Christ. The royal power of Jesus Christ. The kingly power of Jesus Christ. Power irresistible. Power unlimited. Power unrestrained. Coming from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The majestic power of our risen Christ. I, I want to read something to you in Psalm 2. Psalm 2, I'm reading from verse 6. And then you will see his royalty. You will see his kingship. You see that Jesus Christ is anointed or danged as a king. Now, because the king he has power and he comes with that power of the king in your life tonight thank God your problems are solved thank God forgiveness is coming to you thank God the salvation is coming to you Psalm 2 I'm reading from verse 6 here is the almighty God talking Here's a creator God in heaven talking. And he's talking about Jesus Christ, his only begotten son. In Psalm 2, verse 6, he says, Yet have I set my king upon my holy mount of Zion. He's not talking about David. I said, Is that talking about David? No, go ahead. And you will see, it's not talking of David. Look at verse 7. I will declare the decree. 
The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. And you see a capital S there. Ask of me, ask of me, verse 8. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And then he goes on to tell us what you are to do with that son of God. Here is the king of kings. Here is the lord of lords. Here is the king in his majesty. Here is the regal one. Here is the one that has royal authority. Here is the king Jesus. Here is the king savior. Here is the king redeemer. Here is the king that can forgive your sin. And the almighty God said, I set him up. I anointed him. I placed him there for your good, for your redemption, for your salvation. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord tonight shall be saved. Tonight you call on the name of the Lord, you are going to be saved. Because the Almighty God said, That's the one I have anointed and appointed. He says there are no two people on that seat. That seat of authority. That seat of power. That seat everlasting eternal. Is my king. I set him up there. And he says, Ask of me. Tell him the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, All the heathen in the world all the people of the world he said I'll give them unto you and actually the father has given you unto him it's now for you to surrender to him and say he is my king he is my lord he is my savior he is my redeemer he rose in power the stone was rolled away. The guards of earthly authority fell on the ground. They were helpless. He won permanent victory over man's many enemies. Christ now has power over your sin. Over your darkness. Over your curse. Over the eternal judgment that shall come upon your life. He has power over Satan. Has power over your sickness. Has power over the demons that are tormenting your life. And the moment you surrender to him, the moment you keep yourself to him, the moment you say he will be my savior, my lord, he will be my king. He will be captain of my salvation. I surrender. I give myself to him. I totally give my heart, my soul, everything to the Lord. Remember, he has authority now to forgive your sin. He has authority to take all the condemnation away. He has authority from heaven to take all the guilt away. And then to give you a new life. And it's coming today. I said it's coming today. Anybody there, I said it's coming today. Anybody waiting there, I said it's coming today. The power of his word. It will speak to you, your sins will go away. It will speak to you, your sicknesses will go away. It will speak to you, immediately all those demons will vanish away. Yes, majestic power. That's why he rose from the dead. 
That's why I come to you today. And it says, I have power in heaven and on earth. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. It says, where the word of a king is, there is power. What if I to Jesus Christ now? That's why when he was here on earth, everywhere he went, there was manifestation. Because he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His word is the word of the King. His power is the power of the King. His authority is the authority of the King. And he was not just ruling over people alone, over their problems as well. When you saw a blind man and said, Your eyes be open, that was a final word. And the eyes became well open. When you saw the lame and he said, Rise up and walk, that was a final word. If the demons have been operating anywhere, those demons don't have a final word. When Jesus comes, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, and he says, Come out, they come out immediately. Because where the word of the king is, there is power. He's going to speak to your problem tonight. He's going to speak to your sin tonight. When he says your sins are forgiven, final. When he says you are saved, final when he says you are brought into the kingdom of God that's final and when he tells that spirit of insanity your brain there come out that's final when he tells that cancer there dry up that's final
and put them somewhere else. Uh -uh, they don't have power anymore. Here is Jesus Christ in the valley on the mountain, by the river in the desert, in heaven and here on earth, over there overseas or here in our land. Here where I'm standing and there where you are sitting. All power in heaven, all power on earth have been given unto you. And when he speaks your life tonight, power manifestation will come unto you in Jesus' name. Some people, they have power on a special day. And if you go to them on that day, after they have gone here, they have gone there, they have done this, they have done that. And they look at, they say, this is the day. Then they begin to manifest something that looks like power. Let that day pass. It looks like now, they are ordinary like everybody else. But Jesus Christ has power every day. Whether it is Sunday or Saturday. It is Wednesday or Friday. Or Monday or Thursday. Or Tuesday or any other day. Power belongs to Christ. He reigns supreme. He reigns without a rival. Any day, any year, any month, any time. And today for you. I said today for you. Money for I said today for you. Money for he has power. Money All power is given unto him. Both in heaven and on earth. Some people claim to have power. If they can have some bottle of oil, give me oil. Power will come. Other people seem to have power. When they can get some bottle of water, special water from River Jordan, then they say there is power. Other people claim to have power. When they can burn something like incense, they say there is power. But Jesus doesn't need anything like yes, that. Sir. And today, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. And that word of power is coming unto you. No bottle of water, we're talking about Jesus. No bottle of oil, we're talking about Jesus. No candle and no incense, we're talking about Jesus. Some people claim to have power. When they can be in a particular posture, if they can lie down, if they can kneel down, if they can put their head on the ground, if they can do some gymnastics, then they say there's power because the power comes from the sweat. But Jesus Christ is just says calmly and he says blind eyes be opened and your eyes are open. It's a power that came from heaven. And that power is coming to you tonight. Because Jesus Christ said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Jesus is there. Do you know that? Where you are, there, Jesus is there. The one who will forgive your sin, Jesus is there. The one who will redeem your life, Jesus is there. The one who will break every yoke in your life, Jesus is there. And Jesus came unto them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. And that power is here to bring a manifestation in your life it will do it in Jesus name.
He reigns on earth. He reigns in heaven. He reigns as conqueror. He reigns as creator. He reigns on high. He reigns here below. He reigns everywhere. He's going to reign in your life. He will reign in your heart. He will reign all through eternity. He reigns to conquer that stranger in your life. He will conquer that sin in your life. He will conquer that demon in your life. He will conquer that sickness in your life. He will cast out that evil spirit in your life. Every spirit of torment, he will drive out of your life tonight. Because he reigns. Because he reigns. Because he reigns. And nothing can stop that power of his. You come and you give your soul to the Lord. You give your life to the Lord. What you could not do by yourself. You have been making resolutions. I will not say that anymore. I will not do that anymore. I will not go there anymore. I will not act like that anymore. But you could not do that. Resolution could not help you. But Jesus has the power to change your life and turn your life around. He will take that bad character away. He will make you a nice and a good person. The grace of God will come to your life. And what you need have power to do before. The strength to live righteously. That strength will come to your life tonight. I rejoice with you. Because of that power that will be manifested in your life tonight. Do you know it will heal your sickness? I said, do you know it will heal your sickness? Do you know it will cure you of every disease? Do you know it will set you free? Say amen. Say I believe. Say I accept. Say I'm going to see manifestation tonight. Let me show you the summary of the ministry of Christ. To show you what kind of power he has. What kind of authority he has. It's in Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Do you notice that the Holy Trinity? God the Almighty. God the Creator. Anointed Jesus Christ the Son. With the Holy Ghost and the power. Who went about doing good? He has not changed. He goes about doing good. He's the same here tonight. He goes about doing good. He's going to do that in your life. He goes about doing good. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Those on the left hand side, they are healing all that are oppressed of the devil. Those on the center at the front over there, healing all that are oppressed of the devil. Those on the right hand side, healing all that are oppressed of the devil. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. For the Holy Ghost and power. Who went about doing good. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. For God was with him. 
and God says, I am God, I change not. And Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what you did before, he's still doing today. And he's going to do it in your life tonight in Jesus' name. He will forgive your sin. He will give you peace of mind. He will give you salvation. He will redeem your soul. He will write your name in the book of life in heaven. They will give you new life. Everlasting life. Eternal life. You will never be the same again. Number one is the majestic power. Number two is the mighty power. Number three is the manifold power power many sided power you come to this side you meet power you meet him on this side you meet power you meet him in another angle you are power every side of Jesus is many sided power anywhere you are you call upon him and you have power there the cross of Jesus Christ is at the center and all the sides of the cross of Christ. You are in the east, you are in the west. You are in the north, you are in the south. You are in any direction. And you look up to Jesus Christ who died for you. If there is no part of him that does not ooze out and beam out and shine out and send out and drive out the power. There's no part of him that doesn't have power. And anywhere you are, any direction where you are, here Jesus comes to announce to you. And he says, and Jesus came unto them. As you're expecting him, your expectation will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. You will not come here as a spectator. You will not be an onlooker. But you are going to come to the side of Christ. And the power of Christ. Manifold. Many sided. Whatever the need may be. You need salvation. There's that side. He's our savior. You need healing. He's on that side. He's our healer. You need deliverance, it's from that side, it's deliverance. You need provision, it's from that side, it's provider. You need renewal, it's from that side, it's the power of resurrection. You need a change in your life. It's the one that comes to transform our lives. The many-sided and the manifold power of a redeeming captive. All he wants you to do is to talk to him. And to forsake your sin. And to accept that you are a sinner. Just like you accept, you are a black man. You are a Yoruba man. You are an Igbo man. You are somebody from this other side. There's nothing derogatory about that. That's who you are. You are a man. You are a woman. So when you say, I'm a man, that's right. You say, I'm a woman, that's right. When you say, I'm a sinner, that's right. Because all I've seen come short of the glory of God. And the only Savior the Father has given to us. He's the one that died for us on the cross of Calvary. And you come to him confessing. And you say, you are my Savior. You are my Lord. And then you give your heart unto the Lord. And say, I'll not go back to those evil things anymore. Jesus, my Savior. Sin out. Evil things out. Darkness out. All those uh, evil uh, wickedness in your life, everything comes out. And you say, Jesus will be my Savior. When you say, I'm a sinner, you are my Savior. 
destroyed. You say, I am sick, you're my healer. That's right, that's right. And he's your healer because he will drive that sickness away. I am in captivity, I'm oppressed, and you're my deliverer. What the manifold power of a redeeming captive. He'll break the chains in your life. He'll destroy the evil in your life. He will set you free. Somebody there said he will set you free. I said he will set you free. And tonight is that night. Somebody there said tonight is that night. Manifold power. Many sided power. Mighty power. Majestic power. Power in manifestation. Power in signs and wonders. Power in salvation. Power in healing. Power in deliverance. Is there tonight by your side? Where are you there? I said, Where are you there? Power coming upon your life. Power coming upon your life. Tonight. I said, Tonight. When is your salvation? I said, Tonight. When is your forgiveness? I said, Tonight. When is your healing? I said, Tonight. When is your deliverance? I said, Tonight. Now he comes to you and he says look to him look to him all power in heaven and on earth is given unto him believe it will happen in your life are you ready I said believe and manifestation will come in your life I said are you ready I said are you ready let's bow and eyes closed I'm calling you now to a point of decision because this is manifestation time manifestation of forgiveness manifestation of redemption manifestation of peace of mind manifestation of entry to the kingdom of God manifestation of eternal life it's bowed and eyes closed you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ so that his power can flow into your life his forgiveness can flow into your life his salvation can flow into your life you are there tonight you are making up your mind wherever you are right, center, back in front or the left you say Christ will be my savior from tonight raise up that hand wonderful raise up that hand wonderful raise up that hand there wonderful you're making up your mind you're taking a decision I come out of darkness I come into the light I come out of my sin I come to the savior I come out of wickedness I come to the goodness of the Lord I come out of the dungeon I come to his redemption wherever you are you raise up your hand if you're raising up your hand you will stand up you will stand up you say I stand up out of the crowd I will not be lost in the crowd Jesus I am here Jesus I am here you will be my savior Jesus I am here where are you Jesus I am here raise up that hand and stand up you will be my savior you will take my sins away you will take my guilt away you take my condemnation away Jesus have mercy on me I believe I believe I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary raise up that hand and stand up rise up and tell the Lord open your mouth and tell the Lord there. I surrender my life unto you I give my life unto you I will not go back to any other sin anymore you are the final authority in my life the final power in my life my savior and my lord and he's going to write your name in the book of life in heaven and then when the time comes he'll take you to heaven
Keep on standing. We're going to pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this moment of manifestation. Manifestation of your love. Manifestation of forgiveness. Manifestation of grace. Manifestation of mercy. Manifestation of salvation. I pray for all your people who are standing and those who have made up their minds and they surrender their lives to Christ as the Lord and Savior. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Take their sins away. Take the condemnation away. Take the guilt away. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Let them enter now into the kingdom of God. Lord, I pray the joy of salvation will come to them and the peace in salvation will come to them and the power to go and live a new life grant unto them now in Jesus' name. We thank you because when we call upon you, you always answer. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you for that salvation. Confirm each in every life, Lord. We thank you because we know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. A loud amen. They're waiting for the miracle. Praise the Lord. You know, manifestation is coming upon your life now. Praise the Lord. As we pray tonight, there will be a manifestation in your life. Any infirmity, any sickness, any disease you have, the Lord will take everything away. Remember, all power belongs to Him, Christ. And that power will heal your sickness. And so whatever problem you have, identify that problem. Just lay your hand on the problem. Your lame. You are blind. Deaf and dumb. You have swelling your body. You have evil spirit tormenting your life. Whatever it is, as we pray, and we pray in this mighty name of Jesus. When you hear the final amen, it means it is done. Then you check up yourself. You'll discover your miracle there. So lay your hand where you have the problem, raise up the other hand. Get ready, it's coming. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because we know you are still mighty. Your power has not changed, and your love has not changed. Grace and mercy, you have not changed. And therefore, Lord, I pray that your power will flow into every life now in Jesus' name. Every power of darkness tormenting anyone, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Spirit of insanity, madness, come out in Jesus' name. Those uh, spirits walking about in the body tormenting the life, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body. Whatever the swelling may be, in the head, in the neck, in the armpit, any, anywhere, Lord, I pray that swelling come out in Jesus' name. That mountain of a problem be removed in Jesus name and every plant the heavenly father has not planted in your body 
It's uprooted now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have any other internal sickness, internal infirmity, causing pain in their body, affliction in their body. I send for the power of God upon your body right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. Touch their deaf ears. Touch their dumb tongues. Deaf ears begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues speak out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are blind. I command that bandage of the devil to be removed from your eyesight. Cataract. Come out in Jesus' name. Lukoma, come out in Jesus' name. Deepness of sight be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are lame. Those who are paralyzed. Those who have stroke. Those who are that sense and broken bones. Lord, touch them. Raise them up in Jesus' name. Broken bones come together. Be mended right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. With that hand, stretch it out and be whole in Jesus' name. Short leg, grow out now in Jesus' name. Stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. And rise up and walk in Jesus name Lord I pray that everywhere now there will be manifestation to the left to the right manifestation at the back in the front manifestation miracle everywhere healing everywhere deliverance everywhere receive your miracle thank you because we know you have answered confirm the miracle in every life in Jesus mighty name we pray final 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 amen praise the Lord it's done I said praise the Lord it's done check up yourself check up yourself you'll find your miracle is there praise the Lord my name is Mosumola Ola Belo. I'm from Moro. I came here feeling um, stone, like stone on my two breasts. My friends actually told me that it's something like cancer, but I never went to the hospital because I believe in God. And when I came here today, they told us to hold weight um, is pending us. Then I uh, um, held my breast and glory be to God. There, there is not, I, did, I can't feel anything like stone. Anything like stone on my chest. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord, Lord has done it. Has done it. Oh, what is she? Your healing shall be permanent. He was saying, you see, by Kale, Ola Belo, Loru Karabiniwa, Mosumola, one can go to Wabi, I can do one year, yeah. Told that you're Kuta, Tiwankini, Rukobi, Jajere, Subani Batina, she's a lot of Badura. I need Kinito, do one year, see, Pura. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are dressed. Maria Lata Julukomi. Moalati, Gio More. He left and be. He got on Bolo Wars on Biro Lenny. Or no attacking, not to be so caught in Rome. Molosodo Apostudi in Bibai, Wolini, Moni Momma Moni, or no at your way in Romi, who many a token to a fira, Mofi Roro, Rani Lena, who she, Betty Mitatin Badura, or shall you pay me ruin, or Romi Mom, so Mudu Pelo or Lor, or Colon or Tong Badura for Missy Wadu Comato, Jamilan, Coniwa Moloro called Jesu. Amen. Etty Babos on you. You have been healed. Praise the Lord. Her name is Maria or Lateju from Ijo More. Before she came here, she had terrible pain in her neck, on her chest, and even at her back. And she had been to many places, she, to prophetess and many places. But by, when she came here tonight, the man of God prayed, 
And uh, could you believe it? The pain all over her neck, all over her body disappeared miraculously. And now God has healed her instantaneously. If Praise the Lord. Don't see shake up if you are there, expecting miracle. God has manifested his power in his person. Praise the Lord. My name is Hama Kamala Bosseldu. I'm from Mokwa Group of District. Before I came here, I was having neck pain. But when the pastor prayed, I was not having any pain again. Yes. Amen. Ki won to wa orun dun won fa ma kin wa bo se loruko won sugbon leyin adura won ni irora yen ko ra ni ko si ni pada si be mo loruko Jesu Praise the Lord Hallelujah The Lord is good Actually I'm not a member of this deeper life my name is Ifaka Ufuma I am from Modaike um, uh, somebody invited me to this program, but before I came to this program, I had a, a dream that a prayer session was going on and I started vomiting. And before I came here, I was diagnosed that I had to undergo an operation. If you can look to my neck region, you see a ball. So when the man of God was saying, there are, there are some people here that um, so something is swollen on your, on your body, your neck, whatever. Exactly. I just had the strong feeling that it is me the man of God was talking to. And immediately I placed my hand on that spot. It's, it's here. And I placed my hand on it. And I told God that the revelation I saw that I started vomiting everything that is not planted in my body. I will vomit it in the name of Jesus. And I tap into the prayer point, And immediately the man of God was praying. I started vomiting. I started vomiting. I started vomiting. I said, God, I thank you because your word has come. And indeed, my healing will come. And I tap my faith. I started vomiting immediately. Normally, when I swallow saliva, there's this pain on my chest. But immediately, the man of God said, just continue to do those things you couldn't do. And I started swallowing the saliva. I even took water and swallowed. It was just going freely. It was just going freely. I just want to thank God because he's the king of kings. Indeed, he has perfected his healing. I will never undergo that operation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kato wabi, wani kaka wusi wan lono. Neba ti na shio lono ba dura lek. Wani bit ki biti kaka ba wusi o lara. Peko gba wale be. Wala ba gba wale onu wani biti kaya wusi. Wala fiti kaya dede pora. Awan ba bere si gbe tomi kwe abi bere ni abi ko. Ani a fiti to bere si logerege. Awan ba tu momi. Lomi na bere si logerege. Awan wa ke si be. Nto ti wuo o ti pora danu. The next testifier please. Eleri tokan. Praise the Lord. My name is Isaac. Speak louder, please. Welcome to Isaac. My wallet is Ilay Fair. I'm a Problem is money. I'm a lot of money. So, I'm going to talk to you in your lesson. But, I'm going to talk to you in your lesson. After I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you in your lesson. Hallelujah. God healed our brother Isaac from serious rheumatism. And by the grace of God, after the prayer of the man of God, that miracle happened in his life. And now he's being healed. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm Awolabi Bukola from DLCF OAU. I want to bless God for what he did for me tonight. So from then to now, I've been having some sensation in my throat. I don't know whether it's sore throat or whatever. But sometimes it's difficult to breathe. But I want to thank God because tonight God healed me. And I also want to thank God because for some time also I've been having involuntary knee flexion. That whenever I'm walking, I just kneel down greeting people without control. But I want to thank God because tonight God has perfected my healing. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Oreo Felani Pekun. Actually, I'm from Deeper Life Campus Fellowship. I have this pain in my teeth for over a year now. This pain do come, most especially in this kind of weather, in this cold weather. It's just so serious that, in fact, I'm almost... Uh, 
It will just, it's not because of God. I could have even died from that pain. But today, when the JS prayed, he said we should lay our hand on those things where we, um, we are feeling pain. I laid my hand on it. And uh, to the glory of God, I am healed. I tested it. Normally, if I drink cold water or any water, I will, I will feel this pain. But I drank water and I didn't feel any pain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
close your eyes and raise your hand.
close your eyes and raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you tonight. It's a blessed day. It's a wonderful day for every sister and for every brother, for every daughter and for every son, and for our invitees. Oh, Lord, I pray tonight will be a night of miracle. It will be a night of power. It will be a night of release. And you will set your people free in Jesus' name. The anointing that breaks the yoke. The assurance that brings salvation and brings healing and brings deliverance. Oh Lord, pour it upon your people in Jesus' name. Wipe their tears away. Take their sorrows away. Change every life. And for those who are blessed already, add to their blessing. Multiply their blessing. Everyone Lord, here today, I pray that nobody will go empty-handed. And for our brothers and sisters and sons and daughters everywhere that they are linking up with us here, let the miracles flow. Let the anointing flow. Let the power flow to everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm the joy of the Lord in every life. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. You can sit down. We're looking at Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. And I'm reading from verse 19. It says, And I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I'm talking to you tonight on the believer's key of authority and power. The believer's key of authority and power. There's a believer there. I said there's a believer there. I said there's a believer there. Where's the believer there? You have that key tonight. The believer's key of authority and power. Read this again and I will give unto thee. The keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever. Everybody say whatsoever. Say whatsoever. Whatsoever in my life. Whatsoever in my life. Whatsoever in my place of work. Whatsoever in my family. Whatsoever in my spiritual life. And whatsoever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look at chapter 18, verse 18. Chapter 18, we're looking at verse 18. 18, 18. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You see that whatsoever that removes limit from it. Because it's not just this little thing. Because your life will expand tonight. Your life will grow tonight. You are moving forward tonight. Satan does not have the final say in your life. Say it for yourself now. Satan does not have the final say in my life. I cannot sit down here and be saying, they will not allow me, they will not allow me. Hey, don't you have the key? I give you the key. And he says, I give you the keys of the kingdom. And instead of sitting down there and complaining, they didn't allow me to go in. Hey, get up now and open this door because whatever you lose on earth in your life, that thing is loosed in heaven. Nobody will make you barren. Nobody will make you poor. Nobody can put a curse on you and be permanent. Because that curse tonight, we're going to remove it. That affliction tonight, we're going to remove it. Whatsoever, whatsoever, thou shalt loose on earth, is loosed in heaven. Whatever you want for yourself, whatever you want for yourself, tonight, tonight, you are getting it. I said tonight, you are getting it. There are three things I'm going to talk to you about. Number one is a powerful anointing against demons and Satan. 
powerful anointing against demons and Satan. And that's what Jesus said. You have the key. You have the key. If there's any demon, there is Satan, any evil spirit there tormenting your life, tonight we bind that devil. Tonight we bind that demon. And then we send them out of your life. They are gone. I said they are gone. It's walking in your head. We we'll send them out. It's walking in your stomach. We we'll send them out. It's walking in your life anywhere. We we'll send them out in Jesus' name. Powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Number two, prevailing authority over disease and sickness. Sicknesses are going away here tonight. Anywhere that sickness is, any corner that thing is, we're going to open the door and we'll sweep everything out of your life. You're going to be free. I said you're going to be free. I am going to be free. I said I am going to be free. I said I am going to be free. You're free in Jesus' name. Prevailing authority over disease and sickness. And now number three, this is yours. I said, this is yours. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Personal assurance. Personal assurance. You know, somebody has a key. And the car is there. And he has the key in his hand. As he's walking to the car to open that door of the car. It's not in any doubt. Because it's the key. That gives the confidence. It's the key that gives the assurance. And if you ask him, where are you going? He says, I'm going from here and I'm going to there. How do you know you are going to get there? This is the key. This is the key. Once the key is there, you'll travel anywhere you want to travel to. You'll get anything you want to have because it says, here is the key. I give the keys of the kingdom unto you. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I used to think somebody can disturb me, but now I understand the key is in my hand. I said the key is in my hand. I used to think that somebody can hinder me from getting to where I want to go. The key of the car is not in their hand. It is in my hand. And once I get there, you know, all those people, they stand in the way. And they don't have the key. And as they stand there, I enter. They're looking at me. They say, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I have the key in my hand. And then I close the door. And I put the key in the ignition. And he says, you're not going anywhere. You're not going. I say, get out of that place. I say, get out of that place. Because if they don't get out of that place, I will get to where I'm going. But their legs may break. I said, their legs may break. You have the key in your hand and anybody that says you will not go somewhere, say, please get out of that place because if you don't get out of that place, your legs may break. I don't want to break your leg. Get out because I'm going there. I said I am going there. I said I am going there. I see you arriving already. I see you there already. And I see you are going to succeed. You will succeed in Jesus' name. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. You are sure tonight. I said you are sure tonight. Nothing will hinder you. Nothing will stop you. Blessing is going to flow into your life. Showers of blessing. Anything you name tonight, anything you claim tonight, it has come. I said it has come. Where has it come? I said where has it come? I so come to you right there. Number one, now, number one, powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Let's come back to this chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. I'm reading from verse 18. It says, Verily I say unto you, don't worry about what other people think, whatever other people believe, whatever other people do not believe. Uh -huh. Don't worry about the dream you had last week. About the dream, when they told you that dream, this will not happen, this will not happen. They didn't know you were going to get the key today. And now that you have got the key, dreams don't matter now. Now that you have got the key, all the things they said in the day, in the night, all the things they said in the back of the, you know, of the forest or whatever, all those things do not matter anymore now because I give you the key. And it's the key of anointing. 
against every demon and against Satan. And he said, Verily I say unto you, and he said, Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Begin to think about what we're going to bind tonight. That thing will go. That thing will go. And begin to put them down. Everything you bind today, everything you send away from your life today, everything is going away from your life. Bad luck cannot remain again. If you say bad luck, tonight is the last night here. And barrenness cannot remain. Once you say barrenness, I, I didn't know I had the authority. I was waiting for somebody to come and help me drive you out. Now I got the key tonight. I said, now I got the key tonight. Somebody there I said, I got the key tonight. And whatsoever I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. You will not cry again. You will not weep again. No sorrow anymore. Because whatsoever. Everybody say whatsoever. Ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever, whatsoever, ye shall loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. I want to show you in Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, this key that the Lord has given. The key, the key. Help me shout the key. What do you have tonight? What do you possess tonight? What are you going to use tonight? the key. And once we mention your problem, at the end of the meeting, I thank God your doors are opening. I thank God prosperity is coming your way. Health is coming your way. Forget about uh, that extra because we open the door tonight, you enter into health. Look at Luke chapter 9. I'm looking at verses, uh, verses 1 and 2. It says, then he called his 12 disciples together and he gave them Power and authority. He gave them power and authority. That's the key. That's the key. He gave them power and authority. There is power here tonight to heal every sickness and to drive out every demon. Power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. The power against demon and the power against Satan. Look at chapter 10. Chapter 10, I'm reading from verse 19. Chapter 10, back up to verse 17. In chapter 10, verse 17, and the 17 returned again with what disappointment? That thing that tied you up as if, you know, your heart, no liberty. Your spirit, no liberty. Your body, no liberty. You're even loose right now. I said you're even loose right now. Look at that. Look at that. In that chapter, in that chapter 10 and verse 17, it says, And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. The other key, the name of Jesus. And he said, Even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Look at verse 18. And he said unto them, He said unto them, I beheld, tell me, Satan. As lightning fall from heaven. When they went out, John at the key, Peter at the key, Matthew at the key, everywhere they went, everybody, nobody said, ah, you got victory, I didn't have victory. You got victory, I didn't have victory. Every one of them, 70, they returned. And this one said, I had the victory. This one said, I had the victory. This one said, I have the victory. Who oh, is the next one? This one said, I have the victory. That one said, I have the victory. No failure. No disappointment. Everybody returned with joy. I see that joy on your face. I see that joy in your family. You will return with joy tonight. And then you will say, my brother, I got something. My brother, I got a miracle. My sister, I got a miracle. You are going to share your testimony. And then it says, I see Satan, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. And then it says, now I'm going to give you a greater key. They got the key. That's why they went out. And that's why they had success. Look at verse 19. And behold, I give unto you. I give unto you. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power, over what percentage of the power? 
What proportion of the power? What fraction of the power? What do you think that somebody has another power somewhere that can touch your life, that can hinder your life, that can hinder your progress, that can make you feel there's no, that power does not exist. If you know you are going to succeed, I say from tonight, that power does not exist to make you fail. Some, somebody having power to cut short your life, when you have the key, the key is in your hand. The key of long life, where is it? It's in your hand there. And the key of prosperity, where is it? It's in your hand. And the key of a good family and a good marriage, where is it? It's the key of your family in somebody else's hand. Ah, ah, I, give you, I give you power. And then it says to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. Then it says, and nothing, that's me. And nothing, that's mine. Something is going to happen to you today. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. What does that mean? It means that uh, if they put uh, something there, shackle, and you didn't know, and you sat down there and they said, we caught him, we caught him. They'll be looking at you when you're going to fall down, and then the more you sit on that thing, the stronger you are. And then they, give, they gave you something to drink, and you didn't know. You say, thank you very much, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And you drank everything. They said, ha, ah, we got him. He's going to die. And then the following day you came, you couldn't run before, you start running. They say, he's even stronger because he has the key. Somebody there has the key. I said, somebody there has the key. And nothing from the village, and nothing from the forest, and nothing from anywhere will be able to hurt you in Jesus' name. Your promotion is coming. And that promotion will get to you. Because nothing, 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 nothing shall by any means hurt you. Because a great thing is going to happen to you. A wonderful thing is going to happen unto you. We're looking at Luke chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 11. Luke chapter 13. And we're reading from verse 11. And behold, there was a woman. Any woman here today? Any woman there today is coming to you. There was a woman which had the spirit of infirmity 18 years, long time, long time, and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. When Jesus saw her, when you are there, Jesus, I see you today. The master, I see you today. When he saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Cancer is dried up. Ulcer is healed. All that a kidney problem tonight is gone. Madness is gone from your family. He says, woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And tell me the next word there. I said, tell me the next word there. Immediately, she was made straight and glorified God. That's you tonight. Number one, powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Number two, number two, prevailing authority over disease and sicknesses. Prevailing authority over disease and sicknesses. And we're coming back to Matthew. In Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. I'm reading here from verse 19. Matthew chapter 16. And we're reading from verse 19. It says, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever and whatsoever, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look up there. Now, you know, when you have the key, and you always open the door, you always open the door, and then your child, maybe your child was born, in the family, and then three years now, four years now, five years now, and you just came back from wherever, and your child is there, and the child always expects that daddy will get out of the car, and he will go and open the door, and will come in, and now you just say, now, you take the key, 
He has never done that before. This is the first time. And then go and open the door. I'm waiting here. And bring this and bring this. And then the boy takes that key. Only five years of age. And he puts in there. The door does not know the age of anybody. All he knows is the door responds to the key. Not to the age. The door responds to the key, not to the maturity. And that little boy puts in the key, turns it like this. Wow, it turns. It, it pushes down the thing and the door opens. You know, tonight, I've been opening the door. It's now your turn. Yeah. And the key does not know age. The key does not know title. The key does not know that your GS or your pastor or your evangelist is the key that matters. And the same key I pass on to you. The same key that Jesus Christ had been using to heal the sick and to open the eyes of the blind and to make the lame to walk. He said, Peter, guess what's happening? The same key I've been using is the key of the kingdom. There's no other key. It's the key of the kingdom. Peter, I give this unto you. Me? I've been the same key that Jesus had. That's why when Jesus walked on the water and then he said, Jesus, if that is you, bid me to come on the water. Of course you can come. Because it's the same key. If Peter uses the key tonight, it will open the door. If John, you see the key tonight, it will open the door. Just mean, you know, if you open the door tonight, this a door will open. Okay, Ngozi, that's your name. Ngozi, if you open the door tonight, it's the same key. It's coming, it's coming. And I said, it will happen in Jesus' name. Because it says, I give unto you. I give unto. I said, I give unto. It's yours. It's going to happen tonight. And then it says, whatever door you open, that door will open. And whatever door you close, that door will close. You open it here on earth, heaven will confirm. You open it, you close it here on earth, heaven will confirm in Jesus' name. Tonight, you will decree. Tonight, you'll pronounce the blessing you, you want. And you are carrying that blessing out of this place tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, look at this. Look at this in Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. And I'm reading here from verse, uh, we're reading from verses 7 and 8. Matthew chapter 10. And we're reading from verses 7 and 8. Here he tells us what the Lord himself is saying. He's saying that now you have the key. What are to do with the key? And as he go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. It will happen tonight. Cleanse the lepers. It will happen tonight. Raise the dead. It will happen. And then cast out devils. Freely ye have received and freely give. No wonder, no wonder. John, James and John were going to the temple. And they saw this man. They've been seeing him a long time. He said, just paralyzed over there. And then all of a sudden, Peter said, John, wait. When do we pass this man here? When we have the key in our hand to open the door. Because whatever we bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose here will be loosed in heaven. And then said, look on us. Something is going to happen. Look on us. Silver and gold have I none. But what I have. He knew he had something. Do you know you have something? I said, you know, you have some, you have the name of Jesus. You have the power of the Holy Ghost. You have the authority of the word of God. You have the anointing that breaks the yoke. We have it tonight. I know I have. I know I have. I know I have. You know, you have the key. I have the key. I say, which one are we going to use? You say, Pastor, use yours. I use it. It opens. I say, the next door, you use your own now. Let's try your own. Whether your own is fake or counterfeit or genuine because my own is genuine. I said, my own is genuine. And as you mentioned the name of Jesus, that name of Jesus will destroy the works of the devil. And it says, silver and gold have I none, but what I have not what they have. I know what I have. I said I know what I have. What he says, what I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Did it happen? It will happen again. 
Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. It happened at that time. It is happening. Again, look at Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. And I'm reading here from verse, uh, from verse 17. It says from verse 17, And this sign shall follow them that believe. Any believer there tonight, any believer there tonight, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, whose name? In my name, whose name? They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Your life is secured. I said your life is secured. When I come next time, if Jesus tarries, I'll find you here. You will not die before that time. You cannot die before that time. Whatever happens, God will keep you alive. I said God will keep you alive. Look at it. It says, and any, any test that comes to you, you will remember that. You remember that. And if the, the devil says, uh, huh? something is getting you, you say, no, it cannot get me. I said it cannot get me. Because I'm, going, I'm still going to see the pastor. I said I'm still going to see the pastor. I cannot die now. Say it for yourself. Let people hear you now. You will not die. The number of your days it will fulfill. While you're going through any condition, remember that you're going to remain alive. You'll be alive in Jesus' name. It says, it, nothing, it shall not hurt you. And then it says, they shall lay their hands on the sick. And, and somebody will recover there tonight. And they shall recover. That's what the Lord is telling us. And it will happen in Jesus' name. Number one is a powerful anointing. Thank God I have that. Number two is the prevailing authority. Thank God I have that. Number three now, personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Psalm 91. In Psalm 91, I'm reading from verse 3. Psalm 91. Psalm 91, and we're looking at verse 3. It says, surely I'm sure about this tonight. I said I'm sure about this tonight. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will do it. I said he will do it. Look at surely, 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 personal, personal, personal salvation is coming to you. Deliverance is coming to you. And all that you need healing is coming your way in Jesus' name. We're looking at 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we're reading from verse 37. Verse 37. In verse 37 is this personal assurance. Personal assurance. David said, moreover, the Lord that, that delivered me out of the paw of the lion. And out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hands of this Philistine. He will deliver me. He will deliver me. Are you there? He will deliver me. There's no doubt about it. Your deliverance is tonight. Your healing is tonight. Your salvation is tonight. He will deliver me. We're looking at Second Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. And I'm reading here from verse 18. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4. And we're reading from verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me. Say that for yourself. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. From every evil work. Anything that will count as evil in your life, in your body, in your family, on your child, on your wife, on your husband, in your place of work, deliverance has come tonight. Am I talking to somebody there today? It is coming to you in Jesus' name. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me, even me, from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. To whom be glory forever and uh, ever. Now the time of action is coming. Time of demonstration is coming. Is the time, you know, we have the key. There must be a time we use the key. And the time we use the key is arriving right now. 
I'm going to use the key on your personal life, in your family, and then on your body. And the key will open every door of progress and every door of prosperity and every door of health and the door of salvation. It will open in Jesus' name. Uh, we're looking at uh, Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. And we're reading from verse 5. And this is what will lead us to action. Will lead us to demonstration. Will lead us to that deliverance and salvation in your life today. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. And we're reading from verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, the Lord has entered into this place today. And life will never remain the same for you. There came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, tell me. Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. He never said no to anybody. Anybody looking for salvation, he never said no. Anybody asking for healing, he never said no. Anybody asking for deliverance, he never said no. If he's going to say no, it will be for the first time after 2,000 years. But he never says no. And tonight, he will not say no to you. Heaven has said yes concerning your case. Heaven has said yes concerning your request. Because the key is already there. If he didn't want you to use the key, he will not give you the key. But he said, behold, I give the keys of the kingdom unto you. And whatsoever tonight thou shalt open will be open. And whatever tonight thou shalt close will be closed in Jesus' name. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. And look at this. I will come and uh, heal him. Look at what the man said. And the centurion answered and said, uh, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. Then he said, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Tonight, that's the key, the word. The word of power. The word of authority, the word of anointing, is the word of healing, is coming your way. It's the word of deliverance, is coming your way. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. I have the key with me here today. I said, I have the key with me here today. I have that anointing, I have that authority, and the name of Jesus is here. Whatever your problem, whatever your sickness, the Lord is going to set you free today. And then, of course, the key to the kingdom. That first of all, you enter by repentance and say, I want to be saved. There's salvation. I said there's salvation. And that salvation is coming your way. It will forgive your sin. Then it will set you free. And then you can say, I'm a child of the kingdom. I'm not just a person that came. You know some people, they come like they come to the restaurant. And then they eat after they have eaten. They say, praise the Lord. That was a great uh, restaurant. And then they come out. But they don't have the key to that restaurant. They cannot get there anytime. And that's only one meal. And when you take that one meal and then you are hungry again, what do you do? And then they have closed the door. And uh, you cannot enter because uh, the opening time is over. But if you are a child in the house, if you are born again, if you have repented of your sin, you don't just go there to the restaurant and eat once in a while you have the spare key in your hand somebody there i said you have the spare key in your hand and anytime there's any need anytime there's hunger then you take out the key and you enter that place and they say what have you come for i'm a son in the house i came to you they say sit down you eat and go out you don't drop your key there you put your key in your pocket and if you're hungry again you go back there and open you are not knocking at the door is anybody there anybody there they are there no food is inside there you open the door and for that to open to you you must be born again it means that you are a child in the kingdom Anytime you can come, like many people today now, anytime they can come and something good will happen to them. I said something good will happen to you. 
you will get saved. And getting saved is simple. It just will say, Lord, I am part of the number. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. I come. I turn away from my sin. I take Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. It says, whosoever, whosoever, anybody there? I said, whosoever, anybody there? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And salvation happens. And after that time, come and see doors opening in your life. And come and see miracle flowing in your life. Tonight is the night. I said, tonight is your night. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Jesus Christ is right here. He's saying, I want to forgive your sin. I want to give you the key. The key is salvation that breaks that sin. And he wants to do it in your life. And if you want him to forgive your sin and change your life and give you that salvation right now, because whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He's calling you right now. You raise up your hand and then he'll forgive your sin. Where are you? Just raise up that hand. I need forgiveness. God bless you. God bless you there. Wonderful. Wonderful. I am sorry. I'm a sinner. Say that to, uh, to the Lord right there. I want you to forgive me. I want you to change my life right now. I give my life to Jesus. Tell him there. Tell him there. Lord, forgive me. Lord, change my life. And let your salvation, your forgiveness come to me right now. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. And from tonight, your life will turn around. Thank God it's happening right now. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. I'm going to pray for you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for these uh, new brothers and sisters who have raised up their hands who are standing up and they ask you to forgive them. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Change their lives in Jesus' name. Bring them into your kingdom. I pray, Lord, that all their sins, all the guilt and the condemnation will pass away and they will know they are saved tonight. Thank you because I know you have answered. They're now in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Okay, raise up that hand, raise up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day of power and this day of anointing and this day of the key, the key of power, the key of anointing and the key of authority. Oh Lord, I open their doors. Lord, I pray that all the blessings of God will flow into their lives in Jesus' name. That sickness will come out. That infirmity will come out. Lord, you have told us, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loosed in heaven. You said, if we pronounce it here on earth, you will affirm each there in heaven. I pronounce that healing has come to them. I pronounce that deliverance has come to them. That cancer, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Asthma, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All that uh, kidney problem, I command you, be healed in Jesus' name. And the problem at your back, I command that pain, vanish away in Jesus' name. That thing tormenting your head, I command that tormenting spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray, every sickness in their body, every infirmity in their body, you are loosed in Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are barren. I pray that their miracle children will come right now. Barrenness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Miracle child, come. Miracle child, come. Confirm each in their lives in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, every yoke is broken. That cause in your life is taken away. I pray that definite healing you are looking for. Right now, at this time, receive your healing in Jesus' name. That deliverance and setting free and freedom you are looking for, this is your time. Be free. Be loosed. You are liberated. Be free in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray you open the door of prosperity for them. Poverty, get out of their lives. Prosperity, come into their lives. I pray that every good blessing they need, that right now you affirm it and confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Brother, receive your miracle. Sister, receive your miracle. My boy, my daughter there, receive your miracle. My child there, receive your miracle. Lord, I, I pray for everyone. I pray that nobody will go out of this place empty-handed. 
The key has opened the door. A blessing has come into your life. The key has locked the door and causes a bad from your life in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone. Transform everyone. Do something definite in every life. Confirm it in every life right now. I thank you because I know it is done. I know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Another amen. Another amen.